Hey everyone, my name is John Sisson and today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Sony A77 DSLT camera. This is also my entry into Gizmodo CES 2012 competition. To give you my impressions of the camera, I took it out for a day to show you how well it performs. When you first look at the A77, you'll notice that it looks like any other DSLR out there. But when you look closely, you'll notice that there are some unique features that separate this camera from the rest. Firstly, there is a fixed translucent mirror instead of the usual moving mirror, and the benefits of this is that you get quick and accurate continuous autofocus in stills and videos. And because of this technology, the camera offers an ultra-fast 12 frames per second shooting. Next thing you'll notice when you look through the viewfinder is that it's electronic. It's a large, sharp and detailed viewfinder and is by far the best I've ever looked through, offering real-time live view and an accurate representation of your final image. So essentially, what you see is what you get when taking a photo. The camera also features a unique 921,000 dot resolution LCD screen, which can tilt and pivot freely to make taking photos at difficult angles easy. The LCD screen also has the ability to fold out and twist up or down for self-portrait shooting. Sony has chosen to put a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor in this camera and today is the highest megapixel count in any camera in its class. The camera delivers very sharp and detailed images and allows the photographer plenty of room for cropping. But to get the most out of the sensor, I recommend using Sony's G-Series or Carl Zeiss lenses. The A77's ISO range is 100 to 16,000 with the option of expanding down to ISO 50. High ISO is handled very well till about ISO 3200. Any higher and images lose their detail and noise is more prominent. So I don't recommend shooting above ISO 3200 and should only be used as a last resort. The A77 delivers great video quality and videographers will also be happy to see manual handling with control of aperture, shutter speed and ISO up to 1600. But unfortunately, there is no manual audio control when using an external mic. The usual Sony features such as sweet panorama found in the Cybershot and Next lines are built into the A77 and though it's not perfect, it does a very good job at capturing the landscape. There are also picture effects that you can apply to your photos without having to edit it yourself afterwards in Photoshop such as toy camera, pop, posterization, retro, soft high key, partial color, high contrast, soft focus, HDR painting and my favorite, miniature. Bear in mind that these features can only be captured in JPEG. The A77 is a very responsive and very well built camera with a magnesium alloy body and weather seals to handle harsh environments. As this camera is catered to enthusiasts, photographers can appreciate the top LCD screen, the many external and customizable buttons, dual jog dials, the intuitive menu and of course the high specification that this camera has to offer. The electronic viewfinder will not suit everyone's taste, even though it is the best that has ever been produced, but I do highly recommend that people try it before they buy it. This is John Sisson, thanks for watching.